is up guys and welcome to part six. Yeah, it is six. Um, so this is the episode where we talk about integrating in the rewarded ads. Now this is very similar to previous steps and if you are stuck around for the banner and the interstitial, it's not that far different and it is quite straightforward. Now if you've just tuned in, uh, I'm showing you the integration to do with uh, the rewarded ads. However, the uh, actual integration to install Unity Level Play is here back in the previous video. So check out my first video as that shows you how to set up the dashboard and then also explains where in the process is, um, is the actual setting, initializing the code and testing. So at this point, I'm assuming the fact you've tested your demo scripts and your integrations and if you've done your banner and your interstitials, then it is all working and everything is all good. If it's not, don't panic. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you and see what I can do in order to get you to this point. Now what's more as well, I've also just created a Unity Discord channel uh, called the, Day the Game Dev Collective in order to help support you. Uh, maybe if you, wanna, you want some hit tips, uh, request a tutorial or maybe even join in in a community challenge. Uh, please do consider um, joining that. And look forward to seeing you there. Now, without further ado, let's smash on into the code then. Right then. So, now we're moving on to the rewarded ads. Now, these are the ads where you'd be rewarding the player with some extra tokens, an extra life, uh, maybe a skin or something like that. And you normally would have this attached to a button. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, what we're going to do is I've got a bit of text somewhere. Score text, where is it? There you are. Which is score, current score is zero. Uh, not only why it's not showing up here, but it is showing up in there. So, not too worried. So, what we're going to do is we're going to link it up. So, we're going to link up the show rewarded ad button uh, to our script and also to the uh, mediation uh, scripting. And then we're going to be able to have it so once the user has played it, we're just going to quite simply uh, increase the current score up to uh, 10. And this is just going to represent you rewarding the player with whatever it is that you're rewarding the player with. So what we're going to do, if we go back to our um, knowledge center and go on to rewarded video. We've got some callback functions just here to be able to help uh, identify and just test. Now, I'm just going to do the add info ones. Uh, and we're just going to copy those like so into our script. Again, whacking them on in the on enable function. So, rewarded. Now there is one of these which we do need to pay attention to. And I will show you where that one is now. So rewarded video available, uh, fantastic. So what we're gonna wanna do is rewarded video on ad rewarded event. So that one there is the one that says, uh, the user completed to watch the video, it should be rewarded. So at this point, uh, the user has watched the video and now should be rewarded. So this is where you would add your code to uh, call a function to update the user's live skin, whatever the reward is, you would call the function from here. So we're going to just very quickly and very simply, uh, this isn't the most um, politically correct way to do it. But if we go to score text, we're just going to copy that score text in here. And we're going to do a game object dot find. I'm going to do score text dot get component. And we're going to go with a tm pro. Might not be the correct tm pro, but we'll go, we'll go with it for now. Uh, dot text. 
equals, and we're just going to go with current score, um, whatever number that is. So TM Pro I think it might be that one. So so now that will now reward the user. So what we've got to very do is if we go back up to where all of our buttons are, we're going to go with a public void and we're going to do show rewarded ad. Fantastic. So much like the show full ad, in fact I am going to actually going to copy that and paste that. Rather than is interstitial ready, we're going to go is rewarded video ready is rewarded video available and then we're then going to go show rewarded video otherwise the ad is not ready now what we do need to do before we do do anything else is just connect that button up to the show rewarded ad which we can do so with the on click event just here Show rewarded ad. Fan tabby dozy. So now that should just double check. So we've got the show rewarded ad, uh, which checks to make sure that the video is available. If it is, it shows it. And uh, do, 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 do. so as we go on down, and then also then got the game object find to in order to reward the user. So fantastic, that is all we really need to do at this point for the rewarded ads. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do file, uh, build and run, and then test it. Fantastic, so we've now got it loading up just here. Now, no errors that we see at the moment so fantastic so we know the fact the other ones work so if we now click on show rewarded ad we have an advert that comes up fantastic so what we're going to do to make sure we do get rewarded we're going to wait to the very end and press skip now we should there we go. So the current score is now whatever number that is. What is that? One million. Ten million? It is one million. So fantastic. So that has worked. So the integration has now um, worked for all of these. So we can load in the banner. We can load in the full size ad. And we can show the full size ad. If this video has helped you, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Maybe even giving us a thumbs up, a comment, whichever. I really appreciate it. I'm a new and upcoming YouTuber and I would love your input. Maybe even consider joining our Discord as well where I'm trying to create a um, community of game devs. And yeah. So that is the full integration from start to finish of the unity level play now if you've had any errors during it not a problem at all it, let me know in the comments below or join my discord for some additional support and we will create a video showing you how to rectify it how to overcome this obstacle um unfortunately with the fact that unity is supported from uh unity level play is supported from 2017 uh point something onwards it means the fact that Editors um, can sometimes infer it slightly differently, which causes unique errors. So, but there's nothing that we, we, we can't overcome. And if by you giving me the input as to what's broken, what isn't working, I can find the solution. I can create another video showing you how to rectify it. And then that means the next person who comes along and encounters the same error uh, will then be able to watch that video rectify it and move on to the next one 
Now, this is as far it goes in terms of integration. As soon as I get access to art, the offer wall, I will be creating a video and adding on to this series how to integrate it. Now, the next episode is showing you how to test uh, the, your integrations. So, testing just Unity, testing just Add Colony or uh, Iron Source or Add Mobs. Um, because Iron Source has an inbuilt function and it's really good and really useful for making sure that your integrations actually do work. And if you've integrated in Add Mobs, then they actually do work. And when Add Mobs do win a thing, you are going to get rewarded for the ads.